The first two parts of this series can be found in the Minecraft Uncovered playlist, the description, and hopefully in your recommended videos on the right. I would highly suggest watching those first for some more context on snipers and methods I'll be talking about in this video. For several years, Minecraft name sniping had been dominated by a single group, the team behind the Ninja sniper. But about half a year ago, one man proved that their reign would not last forever, stealing some of the best usernames the game has ever seen. If you were in the name sniping community at that time, and you saw tens of thousands of dollars worth of Minecraft names being dropped to the public, and you knew it was possible to get one, what would you do? Well, in today's episode of Minecraft Uncovered, with the help of my friends X in a Box and Fatal, we explore just that. From hundreds of OG names being taken by newcomers to the game, to tricking Mojang support for accounts worth thousands of dollars, to insane methods to create dupe accounts and win sniper battles, this is the revival of Minecraft name sniping. In our last video, we left off at the onset of Minecraft's API changes, which continue to make history in sniping every few months. At this point, Cheerful.Ninja was alone at the top. MC Sniper and SMKM were all long gone. Elias was done turboing and Hand Snipers were having a pretty rough time. Disco Lee was still turboing a few names, which I already mentioned last video, but that was really it. After the API changes, Cheerful.Ninja appeared unaffected, working well as usual, but behind the scenes, there was a very interesting change made to the API that hadn't yet been discovered. Name change requests had their priority on the API raised above block requests. What was most likely intended to prevent sniping, as Mojang was already aware of Shofordan Ninja, ended up having the complete opposite effect. It would ignite a fire that is still yet to burn out. The community may not have known it yet, but it was a race to the first person to make a decent name change sniper and discover the news that would change sniping forever. Enter Goldline. Before he began sniping, his name was unknown to virtually everyone in the sniping scene. The only outlet where he gained any real notoriety prior to this point was his YouTube channel where he would upload videos of himself griefing various small Minecraft servers, but even then, he had been inactive for two months. However, though nobody knew it yet, Goldline hadn't gone completely inactive. Behind the scenes, he was working on his very own custom-coded Minecraft name sniper, and by June 1st, he had a working prototype which he showcased on YouTube. He didn't try to go for anything particularly valuable though, after all, this was just a sneak peek of the program, you know, a proof of concept. Later that day though, a very nice OG name was going to be dropping, and that name was Moon. Based on the name history of the previous account, Moon was evidently going to be transferred to a new account, and though I don't know who owned the name, I imagine that they would have been a bit nervous as the final seconds counted down until the name dropped. Of course, they clearly had a lot of trust in the Cheerful Ninja Sniper, after all, it was the only sniper still around. Or so they thought. On June 1st, 2020, the name Moon became available, and within milliseconds it was sniped by the one and only Cheerful Ninja. Any fears that Moon's owner may have had were all allayed, and their name was as good as transferred. But remember what happened in MCB's past video with cases like Mumble and Computer. It isn't over until it's over. And when you request your name to be claimed in a special way, you're put even more at risk. When Cheerful Ninja went to unblock the name, it should have taken seconds, milliseconds even, to claim the name on one of their own accounts. Unfortunately, it didn't quite turn out that way. Instead, Goldline became part of an elite group of players that managed to win a snipe against Cheerful Ninja. And while the community did get hyped over turbos like Discoli and Elias, they were both already well known. Goldline was a newcomer, so when the news broke that a small griefing YouTuber had beaten the largest and only sniping service out there on one of the best names of the year, Chaos ensued. Just in the Cheerful Ninja Discord alone, hundreds of people gathered to discuss what had just been a piece of sniping history, but a common theme throughout that discussion was complete and utter confusion. Nobody knew who got the name. Nobody knew how it was stolen, not even Ninja himself. It would take a full hour until anybody got an answer to that question, and it came in the form of a video shared in the Discord by Piate. So now the question of who got the snipe was answered, but how did he do it? How did this basic command line sniper beat a service with years of work put into it? Well, once everybody knew about Goldline's sniper, it didn't take too long to figure out how. Goldline claimed that the account was actually sniped on a semi-full access account, 
for the first time in, well, ever, basically. SFA sniping was a foreign concept to the sniping community, and many were in disbelief, but the more they talked about it, the more it made sense. Goldline didn't have the money to buy tons of full access accounts, nor did he have the time to hack and secure them, so those were out of the picture. He could have tried to block the names, but he would have had to get extremely lucky to beat Cheerful Ninja at their own game. And NFA accounts wouldn't be able to name change. That just left SFAs. And with the price of a few cents per account, Goldline could stock up on hundreds, even thousands of these accounts and win virtually any snipe he wanted. And that's exactly what he did. Unfortunately, SFAs are known primarily for having horrible security, and Max Webster, the account that got the name Moon, was no exception. Within minutes of the community discovering that Moon was on an SFA, the account had been hacked by an unknown player, the skin had been changed to some German dude with a mustache, a name MC was claimed, and the Discord was set to Skitter0001. Over the next month or so, Goldline would be the main source of competition against Cheerful Sniper, winning on names like Mars, Reader, Armor, Threat, Jones, Poetic, and Harm. Generally, these accounts would have been sold to the highest bidder, and at least for a short time, the buyer would get to have their very own OG name, even if the account was most likely doomed. Interestingly, Harm has since been transferred to a new account with a 2011 cape. Someone was able to get Mojang support to remove the name from the account Goldline had sniped it on, and as soon as it was gone, they claimed it on their own 2011 cape account. The account that Goldline sniped the name on originally has had any and all traces of Harm cleared off of it, as well as the name capitalization changed for no apparent reason. Entering July, Goldline was no longer Cheerful Ninja's sole competition. His success had prompted dozens of others to try their hands at sniping, and new snipes started popping up left and right with some notable examples being Egg, sniped by HX7, Julian, sniped by Rooster Sniper, and Pot, which is one of the only OG hand snipes since 2016 that wasn't caused by an error. Things were getting interesting. By the end of July, Goldline had been toppled. It turns out that though Goldline had found a glaring problem with their way of sniping names, his power still could not keep up with Cheerful.Ninja, and he began to lose names like Morgan, FML, Shore, Obsidian, and Robber. However, sniping was no longer consistent, and though Cheerful.Ninja was recovering, they recognized that. As a result, transfers were temporarily removed from the website. It turns out that that was a very, very good choice because just days later, Goldline was put out of business and Tempest came to take his place. Another newcomer to the sniping scene, Tempest basically was Goldline version 2. He used all the same methods and taunted Cheerful.Ninja in very much the same way. Just like with Goldline, his abrupt entry into the community came in the form of beating Cheerful.Ninja with SFA snipes, starting with Hunger. Not quite as glorious an entry as Goldline, but Tempest would prove to be just as good, starting with semis like Rubs and Streamers and working his way up to some very nice OGs, including Sentinel, Mission, Object, Cursor, and Thief. Unfortunately, the hype generated by Goldline was already beginning to die down by the time Tempest came into the scene, so there really isn't much more to say about him. On September 1st, Tempest left the community and he hasn't been seen since. He wasn't the only one sniping around then though, and many other names were taken by competitors. The only OGs around then that I can really find information on are Sonic, Turboed by Shantanu, and Presume, sniped by Six Lock, neither of which had any further success. There were also plenty of three characters and semi-OGs sniped by Get Snipe, Comet, NX, Smoke, and so on, but none of them even come close to the success of their predecessors. This was also the time where a public sniper, MC Sniper PY, began to grow a fanbase larger than any other. Sniping was growing to be bigger than ever before, and the value of rare names skyrocketed. Even random three characters, which previously were considered nearly worthless, were now worth upwards of $30. On July 17th though, the best snipe of the year would be dropping, and that name was Cat. The owner of the account was dared to change the name, and the absolute mad lad actually did it. Snipers eagerly anticipated the day Cat would drop to the public, wanting to see which of them would grab the name, but nobody could have predicted the chaos that followed. After the name was changed, the original intention of the owner was to reclaim the name. Of course, he wasn't going to just let go of a name worth thousands of dollars just for a dare. It was funny, but the joke was over, right? On August 12th though, that all changed when Cat mysteriously disappeared from the name history of his account. 
It turns out that a community member known as Joshua was able to impersonate the owner and convince Mojang support to delete the name history on the original account. And when a name is removed from name history, assuming it's valid, it can then be claimed on a new account. So Joshua let them make Cat available, then blocked it as a result with his intention being to claim it on a new account and give back to the owner. So it would be as if the name was never changed in the first place. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. He accidentally let the name drop to the public and it was quickly claimed by a member of the Cape community discord known as Yasha on his own personal account. Eventually, Joshua was able to get the name reverted back to the original account through Mojang support, of course, with no trace of this odd mishap. Sadly though, our story doesn't end on a good note. The day after Cat was returned to the original account with the name change erased from existence, it was locked along with at least 20 other highly valuable OG and Cape accounts, where it sits today. By now, the sniping community was in complete and utter disarray. Cheerful.Ninja was attempting to climb their way back up to the top of the game with an all new name change sniper, reintroducing transfers in the process. However, that didn't stop thousands of players from competing for those same names at the same time until one of them would rise above, that man being Deviance. Though he had been sniping since the middle of August, with his first name appearing to be Rab on August 11th, his success was limited to just semi-OG names on SFAs like the rest of the community until late September, which coincidentally is when he switched over to full access accounts. Just to name a few, he got Muhammad and Loom, which were both my own snipes, so I'm very sad about that, Shay, which was a cheerful Don ninja snipe, Ebb from the Skid Snipe Wave, and various other OGs like Fend, Tempt, Doug, Seam, and Sunburn. With Deviants having the best success rate of any sniper and on full access accounts nonetheless, it was starting to seem like we'd be crowning a new king of name sniping and things would finally start to settle down. Of course, many thought the same things about Goldline and Tempest and look what happened to them. One out of business, one out of the community. Deviants would continue sniping with pretty good success, but in the background, someone was hard at work trying to beat him. About a month into Deviance's reign, competition began to heat up again, but coming from a perhaps surprising source. Saga, who was previously known for snipes using free, Python-based programs, had modified the code for MC Sniper Pi with help from the owner, creating one of the strongest snipers in the game. He began to compete for OG names with SFA accounts as was the norm, and quickly found success, winning Lefty, Object, Cinder, and several other nice semi-OGs. Eventually, he was able to make enough money from his SFA snipes to afford a good amount of full access accounts, and with the help of a brand new, custom coded Go sniper made by another community member known as Shaky, he was able to keep up with Deviants winning names like Creep, Reyna, and their crown jewel, Neo. Not all great things can last, and sniping stability is no exception. On December 1st, huge news rocked the entire Minecraft community. The migration update was at long last being set in action, and among other things that you can watch in my video about the update, the API had some massive changes. Most of the API regarding authentication, security, and profiles were moved to minecraftservices.com, with various changes made to how the server processed requests as well. It turns out though, they forgot to add a rate limit to requests for gift code redemption, and because of that small mistake, an entirely new method was revealed. It enabled players to make name snipers that used just a single gift code that could send infinite requests to name change, with the only limiting factor being their internet speed. These would likely be every other type of sniper in the process, or in some cases they even made sniper dupes, which I talked about in my video about the return of dupe accounts. After just a week, the gift code endpoint method was patched, but even though the name change dupe accounts were reverted, every gift code snipe, dupe or not, is still around. Gift codes weren't the only part of the new API that would affect sniping though. When the API was moved to a new website, normal snipers stopped functioning for a bit, but even once they were fixed, Deviants and the duo of Saga and Shaky still weren't winning names. But why? 
Well, it turns out that Mojang decided to lower the rate limit of name change requests per account. Now you could only send about three requests to change your name before Mojang would block you from sending more, and as a result, SFA snipers began to shine because of the large amount of accounts you could use to snipe. MC Sniper Pi was swiftly thrust to the forefront of the sniping scene, with snipers like Penn using SFA accounts to get way ahead of any competition. And that's where we stand today. When early 2021 comes, NFA and SFA accounts should be a thing of the past due to Microsoft migration, and custom-coded full-access snipers should be in the lead once more. But really, who can say what the future of sniping will be? I guarantee you, back at the beginning of the year, nobody could have guessed how crazy 2020 would have been for sniping, and I feel like the same will be true for next year. Whoever rises to the top, they'll be writing a new chapter in the pages of Minecraft history. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and absolutely massive shoutouts to both X in a Box and Fatal for helping me voiceover and providing some of the gameplay as well. They both do videos relating to the OG community, so if you like my videos, I can almost guarantee you'll like theirs as well, so go check them out. As I release this video, people all across the world are about to head into a new year, which hopefully will be a little bit less crazy than 2020 has been. Apologies if you live in, like, Kiribati, which has already been in 2021 for 6 hours now, but it's barely afternoon on December 31st here. For 2021, I don't really have much planned other than to just keep on the grind. I've got enough video ideas to last me through the entire year already, and I'm planning on uploading as much as possible. My recent Mojang update video alone propelled me from 4,000 to 8,000 subscribers over the course of about 4 weeks, which is genuinely unreal, so hopefully I'll get lucky like that again in the future. For now though, I'm signing off. Have a good one guys, peace.